All right, you guys, I think we're gonna do a little work today. Ready to rock and roll today, you guys. All right, you guys, we're gonna do a little bit of something, something in the shop today. Um, I made a big decision that really need to be done. So, <clears throat> I'll show you guys what I did. I did do a little bit of stuff off camera. Um, you know, I'm probably going to continue to do that, you know, because I'm not going to bore you with little shit. So, um, I did start going through the wiring and the harnesses, trying to get the old loom off there. So, I can kind of clean the wiring up a little bit and put new loom on it. I'm still in the process of doing that. So we kind of got the wiring all straightened out a little bit, got all the old loom off. You know, I still got to clean all the wiring up, put new loom on, but I just, I do got the old shit off there. And then down here too, you know, there's, you know, they did try to do a little wire tuck on this car. As you can see, you know, right there they put, right there they put some of it through into the inside the wheel well there. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like that. Cause they got it running running through out here. I don't know, I don't like that too much, but so you guys. Oh, and here's the other side. So you guys, I made a big decision. I was thinking about it yesterday and this morning. And I did look underneath the car yesterday a little bit, and the guy he just threw the suspension back underneath this car. He he didn't even do any, I don't think he really done it right. He got, you know, I'll show you guys. We'll look underneath the car and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But I think I'm gonna take the, all the suspension out from underneath this car, clean it up, repaint it, and put it back in there and use the right hardware. So let's raise this car up. We're gonna raise it up. I'm gonna get the wheels and tires off of it, and I'll show you guys what I got. So we're gonna raise the car up. I always leave my lift unplugged. I never leave my car lift plugged in the wall. That's just something that I don't, I, I, I leave everything unplugged out of the walls. Even my compressor, my lift, um, the sandblast cat, everything is unplugged after I'm done using it, so. Let's get this old girl lifted up. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we got the car lifted up. Got it up off its wheels. It's on the air jacks, as you can see. Pretty good setup. <clears throat> so this car's gonna be like this for a little bit. Cause I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the suspension out, front and rear suspension, just go through it, make sure everything's good, painted nicely, and put the right hardware in it. And I'm gonna show you why. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you guys why I need the right hardware. See right over here? See how long this bolt is right here? Look how long he, look how long these bolts are that he used on both sides. I don't know if you can see that. So that's just, that's just crazy, you guys. It's fucking crazy. He's got long bolts there. He's not even, don't even have the nuts all the way on over here. Look at this. These were just set on here. He didn't even put them in. Same side as the other side. See, now you know why to check all this shit over. Look, right there. See how long the bolt is over here? All he did was fucking just put the bolts in and just put nuts on, didn't tighten nothing down, used too long of bolts. This is crazy, man. Wow, you guys. This just amazes me. Just amazes me. I'm thinking we're gonna take the rear axle out first. Look at, that, look at that. It won't be hard to get the springs out. All right, you guys, we're gonna 
I'm gonna work getting this uh, rear axle out. I'm not really gonna go step by step with it on you guys. It's, it's a simple thing. Simple process taking a rear axle out, you know. I'm gonna get this out and um, I'll show you guys what I got. All right, the axle's out. So, the only thing's left is the shocks. That's not a biggie. When I lower the car down, I'll just unbolt them from inside the trunk, so that's not a big deal. But we're gonna work on the front now. Um, you know, my intentions was at the beginning to take the K-member, get everything off and get it all painted and everything. That's what he was supposed to do. And he didn't do it, so. He painted it while it was on the car. So we're gonna go ahead and get the um, rack and pinion out. I just get shit done. But we're gonna we're gonna do this right way it was supposed to the first time, you know. So well, my intention is to fully go under go through underneath this car and do it right before we put the motor and transmission down in this car. Um, so there's the there's the rear axle. And then we got the upper and lower control arms there. He painted them the same color as the car, which they don't look too bad, but paint's chipping off of them. So I'm going to end up probably fucking repainting them. So, yep, you guys, there's the springs. I might use those same springs. I might just sandblast and paint them. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. We'll see. I might get new springs. But there's what she looks like underneath the car, guys. She's looking empty. It's gonna look even more empty once I get that front suspension out. Let you guys take a look. Probably really can't see. I need to probably shine a light in there so you guys can see. Car looks pre is pretty clean underneath, really, you guys. It's really clean. Solid little girl. She's solid. Yeah, see those stickers right there? Those were spots he was supposed to fix, but never did. I'll be damned. Little asshole. Half-ass shit. Look at right here. See these stickers? He's supposed to hit this, too, down here. Didn't do it. Asshole. Well, if you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. I know I'm cussing a little bit more than usual on this video. Just made it, this, it, it just aches me to see this. I mean, the car is a beautiful, I mean, she's solid. She's good, you guys. Just, he didn't do things correctly. Um, he didn't fix spots like he was supposed to. Of course, he didn't do the paint job right like he was supposed to. And on top of that, he was supposed to help me assemble this car back, and he didn't do that either. So, now you know why I'm in the situation I'm in. Oh, this guy, these are uh, KY, what are they? KY shocks right there. This ain't too bad. Those are supposed to be decent shocks. Um, all right, enough rambling on. I'm gonna let's start getting this damn thing tore down in the front. I need to get working on this son of a bitch. I need to get working on this front end here real quick. I'm messing around too much. I'll get back to you. All right, we're doing a little updatage. So, got the rack and pinion off, you guys. I'll show you guys what I did so far to the front end. So, got the rack and pinion out. Uh, brakes, we got the brake calipers off on both sides. Um, they got this rotor assembly and everything off. And then I'm working on the other side right now so we're moving along you guys so we're moving along here so once i get this uh a rotor off and all that i'm gonna go ahead and try to take the uh the rest of this shit off and then we'll get the shocks last and then we'll we'll get the a arms out and then we'll get the k member out last so that's the update you guys shouldn't take me too much longer um you know once we get all that off 
I'm going to start trying to restore some of these parts. Some parts I'm not going to use. So we're not going to use some of these parts. I'm actually thinking about replacing the rotors and the calipers on this car. Because uh, they, I mean, I really don't want to use the calipers. Because they really look like shit. If you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying here. We're rocking and rolling here. I, don't, I ain't fucking around today. You know? I've got all this done probably within a couple hours. So, um, like I said, I do need to get the shocks off the rear, but when I lower the car down, I'll get them off uh, from inside the trunk. So that's it, you guys. That's the update so far. Um, everything's looking good. Um, I'm going to sandblast these guys. Probably reuse them. I really, man, if, you know, I really like to just get a whole new damn suspension. You know, in the front. But, I mean, this is a good tubular setup. You know, I really hate to ditch this for another another setup. I don't know, you guys. I'm trying... I am really trying to keep it budget now with this car after I've spent so much money on this fucking thing. So, <laughs> I really, <laughs> really don't want to spend no more money unless I have to. Like I said, you know, I'm going to go ahead and redo the the rear end and get it painted and let's see I think the hubs I'm gonna replace I don't know I might sandblast and paint paint them and clean the inside of them out I don't know yet probably end up replacing the hubs too all right you guys no more bullshitting I'm gonna get on this side so we can try to get the rest of this shit off here see ya in a few seconds update number two or is it three? I think it's number two. Update. It's another update. It's looking pretty bare. I could say that. And I'll let you guys uh, take a look. There it is, guys. Whoop. Everything is off but the coilovers, which that's what we're going to do next. And then these rear shocks. So that's all that's left, you guys, is just the rear shocks and the coilovers in the front. Everything else is gone. It has disappeared. <clears throat> so that's the that's the update. I got everything knocked out. We just got to get these uh, coilovers and shocks off. Everything's been going pretty smooth so far. Um, didn't take me too long. I I ate dinner in between. So <laughs> man, gotta eat, man. I'm telling you. All right, well, there's the update, you guys. That's what she's looking like. I guess I could kind of show you the underside. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, though. But there's the undersides. It's pretty clean, you guys. Don't mind the little stickers. Those were spots that he was supposed to fix, that he's supposed to have repaint, but he did. I'm gonna have to do it. All right, you guys, we're done. It's over. Suspension's off the car, front and back. Here she is. Front and rear suspension off the car, you guys. So some of this stuff we are going to go ahead and um, restore, and some of it I'm going to replace. So um, I haven't really made a decision on what I want to do yet, but, you know, I'm going to think about it. There she is, you guys. She's bare underneath. Check it out. She's all... She's naked underneath. So everything's done. We'll look around the car. I'll show you guys. Actually got it down now, so... There it is. Nothing there. Go to the front of the car. She naked. Nothing there, you guys. It's over. It's done. So it wasn't that bad, really. Um, you know, I decided yesterday to go ahead and just, you know, start all over with the suspension and just go through it and make sure it's all right because that guy didn't do it right. So, you know, I, man, I just, I don't understand why people do the shit they do. Um, but yeah, you guys, we got it done in one evening. Wasn't too bad. A little messy. 
But yeah, you guys, we're, we're gonna just go ahead and, you know, I might as well just do it, do it right. You know, I'm not gonna just leave this mess underneath the car that he left me and just put the motor and trains in it. There's, I'm not gonna do that, there's no way. So, I mean, you guys hear that rain? Wow. Man, it's storming like a mofo. Um, but there you go. That's it, you guys. That's all I got for you today. We got the suspension front and rear tore out from underneath the, the, the car. And I'm gonna start restoring some of the parts. I might buy some parts, like I said, and start, you know, trying to get the underside of this car like new and get it right. You know, uh, stay, just stay tuned to this channel, you guys. You know, keep watching this build. You know, I don't know how fast it's gonna go, but <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, I did this pretty quick. You know, some things I'll do quick and some things it takes me a little more time. So, um, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. Like, share, subscribe. You know, that helps the channel. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you on the next video, you guys.